Howard J. Ross, Everyday Bias, Identifying and Navigating Unconscious Judgments in Our Daily Lives. Tackle your hidden biases and unlock better decision-making with Everyday Bias. Identifying and Navigating Unconscious Judgments in Our Daily Lives by Howard J. Ross. This book summary explores how everyone, across the globe, is affected by their unconscious biases, despite efforts to counteract discrimination and prejudice. Delve into situations where biases come into play and how they can affect various decision-making situations. Additionally, learn about the cognitive strategies our minds use to filter reality and create biases. Unravel and develop an understanding of how you can use self-awareness and thoughtful analysis to mitigate your unconscious biases. The Power of Hidden Biases Biases are a part of everyone's mental database of judgments and beliefs, but these biases are usually hidden in our unconscious minds. As a result, they affect our decisions beyond our awareness and can lead to unfair and tragic outcomes such as discrimination and inequality. Attempts have been made to eradicate these biases, but they still persist in our society. The only way to confront and undermine their power is to increase our awareness and consciousness of them. Unconscious Biases Our early ancestors had to quickly categorize people, objects, and animals as safe or unsafe, friend or foe to survive in a dangerous world. This instinct to make snap judgments based on superficial cues still exists in our brains today, leading to unconscious biases. We may reject a job candidate who resembles someone we don't like, but rationalize our decision with a conscious reason. Exposure to people and groups we have biases against can help us disidentify with them. However, not all biases come from personal experiences, many are picked up through cultural norms and media. Every political ideology has websites and channels that reinforce biases. It's important to notice and understand our biases to deal with them more effectively. The Brain's Biases The brain is wired to filter reality in a way that creates biases. This filter has three mechanisms, selective attention, confirmation bias, and pattern recognition. Selective attention helps you focus on relevant information and ignore the rest. An experiment showed that when subjects were asked to count passes in a basketball game, they fail to notice a gorilla walking in front of them. Confirmation bias is when you unconsciously look for information that supports your preconceptions. This bias is evident in how political commentators respond to current events, as they cherry-pick information to support their beliefs. Pattern recognition makes your brain try to match new experiences with familiar templates. If someone regularly acts in a threatening way, you might assume they'll repeat this behavior. Understanding these biases can help you become more aware of how your brain filters reality and why you might have certain beliefs or assumptions. The Power of Acknowledging Biases Biases persist because we attempt to suppress them instead of acknowledging their existence and increasing awareness. The benefits of doing so are significant, we become aware of our automatic decision-making, discover hidden biases, and create a more diverse community. Unconscious influences dominate our lives, and acknowledging this fact may reduce the power of our biases. Take, for example, the study conducted on basketball referees, which found that white refs called fouls on black players more frequently than on white players. After the study's revelation, the discrimination all but disappeared, even though the league did nothing to address it. Instead of provoking defensiveness, guilt, and denial, we should encourage people to become more aware of their biases, which would be more productive in bringing about change. Unleashing the Power of Awareness Biases are normal and universal, but it is possible to cultivate awareness of them and diminish their power. The key is to follow six steps. Firstly, accept that biases are normal and identify your individual biases using tools like the implicit association test and reflection on your life narrative. Then, learn to observe yourself to catch knee-jerk reactions in action. Next, practice constructive uncertainty by analyzing, differentiating, and choosing the most constructive reaction to events. Pay attention to uncomfortable moments and discern if your response is linked to past events. 
get to know people from different groups to challenge stereotypes. Lastly, gather measurable data and feedback to assess the effectiveness of your responses. By following these steps, anyone can develop their awareness of biases and be empowered to take action to diminish their power. Overcoming unconscious bias. Biases in organizations can negatively impact decision making, but awareness and blind screening can help mitigate them. Every organization has biases that can influence their choices in hiring, workflow, and marketing. These biases reflect the phrase, the way we do things around here. These collective biases can lead to irrational decision making, but mechanisms can be put in place to manage them. Our minds quickly focus on the most logical solutions, neglecting other possibilities. Unconscious biases are dangerous because they can affect the success of businesses and organizations. Symphony orchestras have an effective solution to overcome unconscious bias. Blind auditions were introduced in the 1970s, which required the candidates to play music behind a screen without revealing their identities. The listeners were only able to focus on the quality of the musician's performance rather than any bias-triggering cues, such as race or gender. The number of female orchestra members has increased by an average of 25%. Other organizations can apply similar strategies to mitigate bias effectively. Efforts to manage biases can expand the consciousness of an organization and should differ from the usual tactics used to cultivate diversity. Teaching team members to become aware of biases and their impact, as well as working to mitigate them, is crucial. In conclusion, knowing which biases to avoid is vital in managing them, and developing ways to work around them can be beneficial to any business or organization. Uncover and eliminate biases. To remove biases in business, organizations should conduct a detailed analysis of their operations. Employee or customer surveys, focus groups, and other sources can be used to create an organizational map. Detect any biases or patterns in the treatment of different groups, including job applicants of different genders. Interview former employees to examine the inner workings of the organization. Often unintentional, biases can have a significant impact on the workplace. To avoid bias when evaluating employees, switch from using number scores or descriptors. Instead, opt for a narrative approach that highlights actions to take or avoid. Having explored the various aspects of unconscious biases presented by Howard J. Ross, it is evident that everyone has biases that affect their decision-making. Although societies have taken steps to address discrimination and prejudice, unconscious biases persist and often remain invisible to those holding them. By understanding how your brain filters and processes information, you can take meaningful steps to increase self-awareness and work on mitigating your biases. Ross provides a series of actionable steps to empower individuals to be more conscious of their decision-making and improve their lives. Furthermore, organizations can utilize similar strategies to counteract biases, opening the door for a more diverse and inclusive culture.